Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How's everybody doing? I have a new, a new Yarn of the Month Club for you guys. I was so excited. You guys, ugh, for you guys that are like me, that like your neutrals and your naturals and your earthy tones and your autumnals and nature inspired beautiness you guys are in for a treat yes i was doing my usual down the etsy rabbit hole and boop this one popped up in my hey you might like this sometimes on etsy if you are looking for a particular color of yarn or something like that and it says oh sorry we're sold out of that yarn sometimes at the very bottom it'll say suggestions for you so i was like it was one of those things that said suggestions for you and it was called geological wonders mystery club geological wonders o m g so here whoops for february 2021's inspirational photo this is what it looks like and you should probably know that that pretty much sucked me in. So right then and there, I was like, oh, I must go see this particular, I've got to see this. So I went on the Etsy shop. Now, let me give you a little information about the Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is called Backcountry Knitter. The Etsy shop owner, his name is Serena Bliss, and she is from Salt Lake, Utah. And the yarn of the month is called Geological Wonders Mystery Club. This is her first annual mystery club. And this year's theme is Geological Wonders. Now, I missed January's because Etsy didn't tell me about this back in December or even the beginning of January. It waited until February or the end of January to let me know that this was something that I might be interested in. So I missed out on the first one. So this is going for a whole, this will be going for the entire year. So if you wanna get in on this, yes, you missed January's, and now you may have missed February's. Um, let me see. I didn't have any information about when the ending date of this listing is. I didn't see anything on that. I will try to contact her and try to get some information like that because I, I did forget to find out that for you. Hey guys, I'm jumping in right here to let you know that I emailed Serena about the geological wonders, the, you know, the start dates and the cutoff dates for ordering the Geological Wonders Yarn of the Month Club, and she replied back, yay. So she, she put in her email to me, I open pre-orders the first Friday of the month. So that means on the 5th, March 5th, which was the first Friday of the month, was when she put March's Yarn of the Month Club out, which I've already ordered March's go take a look. The link to her shop is in my description box. Uh, she, and she closes the, the listing on the second Friday of the month. So if you're looking to get in on March's Yarn of the Month, click the link in my description box and go check her out. She has some beautiful yarns, like I said. So I just wanted to jump in here and let you know that I do have the information. It opens up on the first Friday of the month and the listing closes on the second Friday of every month. So, But let me show you what I missed. This happened to be, I was looking through her yarns and of course, like many people do, I was looking through her uh, reviews and somebody posted January's Yarn of the Month Club picture and I was like, oh, I missed out on that one. Look at the inspirational photo. And here was like the, um, the you would have seen on her Etsy listing down there. Can you see that? I know it's little, but I can't blow it up. This is just kind of like 
I took this off of somebody who left a review, but look at what I missed out on last month. And that was the first one that I missed out on. So, but I did get in on the second one. So I'm okay with, I'm all, I'm kind of okay. I'm not totally bummed out. So, uh, like I said, back country knitter, the Etsy shop will be listed in my description box. So you can click and go beautiful yarns, guys, beautiful yarns. Beauty must. Anyway, uh, back on track, Tammy. Stop. Psh, psh. <laughs> so uh, it's her first annual mystery club. So she'll be doing this every month. And it is based on geological wonders. Her available bases, all her skeins are 100 grams, 100 gram skeins. And the available bases are sock, which is an 85 superwash merino, 15% nylon and it's 100 grams and it is 436 yards and it's $25. She has MCN sock which is merino, cashmere and nylon, 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon at 382 yards and that's $28. That's a good price for MCN. Merino Sport, which is 100% superwash merino, and it's coming in at 328 yards. Now, sport weight is like a number two weight, and that's $25. Simple DK, which is a DK weight at 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 245 yards, and that's $25. And then she has Merino Worsted, which is 100% superwash merino, and it is an Aran weight. Um, I believe it's like a lighter Aran weight. It has 218 yards, which I would tend to think that that would be on the lighter Aran, on the lighter four weight side. And that's $25. So those are her available bases. So let's get on with the gorgeousness. Now, I did have to peek in real quick because I had seen on her reviews that I was reading, it stated that there was a postcard in here that described, had a description about the colorways and stuff like that. So I did poke my head in here and I got a very quick little peek, but I was very careful not to overdo it because I like to share this moment with you guys. So I do have the postcard right here. And this is the inspirational photo that she dyed her yarns from. And there's a little bit of information on the back, which I'm going to hold this up here so you can take a screenshot of it if you'd like. So I'm going to read it to you real quickly. Let me hold my hand still for you. So I'm going to read it to you really quickly, but if you take a quick uh, screenshot, you'll be able to read it yourself. You know, I'm kind of like that one. I'm kind of like one of those people that I, it doesn't, comprehend as well. If somebody else reads it to me, I like to read it for myself. So if you have the screenshot and you want to read along with me, here we go. So it's called Geological Wonders Mystery Club. This particular picture right here is called The Wave, and this is in Arizona. The Wave is believed to date back to the Jurassic period, during which time prevailing winds push the sandy desert dunes across the sandstone, etching it, while water runoff deposited chemicals such as manganese and iron. Swirled bands of color run through the sandstone, ranging from red, pink, orange, yellow, white, and green. And oh my goodness, is this just... Okay, who wants to go to Arizona with me and go see this geological wonder called The Wave? Raise your hand. <laughs> I know I want to go now. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I want to go. And to top it off, I mean, did you guys see this? I don't know what that is from. I wish I had that postcard. Maybe I'll ask her if she has a postcard she could send me and I can give you the information on that. But I mean, who wants to go there with me? That looks absolutely gorgeous too. <laughs> so now that is the information about her inspirational colors that she gets. Are you guys ready? I'm going to close my eyes and I really want to see this. So one, two, three. Can you guys see it? I hope it's in the view for you guys. 
Can you see this? All right, I'm looking now. Oh my gosh. Uh, I had it upside down. Sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. This is called The Wave. And I got Sock, which is 436 yards, 100 grams, 85% superwash merino, and 15% nylon. Oh my goodness. Here's her little logo. I love it. I love simple little things like that. It's just awesome. Oh my goodness. I've got to I've got to look at this. Are you guys ready? Oh, this is beautiful. This is so my colors. So my colors. Okay. Let's get close and personal. If I can get this off. Hold on. Okay. I've got to get close to this because these are so my color. Oh, oh, this is very pretty. Look at those colors. It's coming up pretty true too. It looks really good. I like that. There we go. Look. Look at those gold, coppery colors. The corally. Look at that corally speckling through there. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. This is very, very beautiful. I really wish I had, I really wish I had enough to make like a sweater out of this. Oh my goodness. I, I really would like to make something like a sweater out of this. Yes, this would make a gorgeous sweater, guys. Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? This is beautiful. I know if you don't like these colors, that's fine. I understand. I am, you know, I know there's many people out there who like the very beautiful, vivid colors, which I do too. I'm not a total color snob, but this really is me. <laughs> like me and a, look at this. See, it matches perfectly with my flushed skin. <laughs> I'm warm today. I don't know why. It's just warm. That is just gorgeous, guys. Look at those colors. Oh, yes. Oh, Serena. Beautiful. I love it. I hope I can get more of this because I would really like to make a sweater out of this. And I'm talking about like a cardigan. I don't want a pullover sweater because living in Florida, you know, but I want something I could put on and off, you know, but definitely be a wardrobe staple for me that is for sure yes oh my goodness so what do you guys think about this her etsy shop link is in my description box as always let me know what you think and hey if you guys buy something or if you're interested in this monthly yarn club um the geological wonders yarn club go on and snag up some I wish I had snagged up enough for a sweater. <laughs> anyway, this is for February 2021 Backcountry Knitters Yarn of the Month Club Geological Wonders. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, I'll be talking to you really, really soon. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys. Oh, yes. Gorgeous.